Separate but equal. Now that's the doctrine that some states use to keep the blacks in their schools and the whites in theirs. Schools may have been separate, but they sure weren't equal. And that's a good point. But aren't things different now, Mr. Molnar? I mean, all that happened a long time ago. Uh, not so long ago, around the time you were born. And it's still going on in a lot of places all around the world today. Whoa, look at that boy run. Guess you'd run too, boy with a hundred-pound shepherd snapping at your designer jeans. Gail's right, Mr. Mullen. It is different now. Back then, blacks weren't even allowed in restaurants. But now they have the same rights that we do. And we on show do wants to thank you good white folk for everything you give us, too. <laughs> it's never been much better for Hispanics, either. We're left with all the jobs other people in this country won't take. Somebody's got to pick the cotton. I've seen the promised land. Now is the time to make real the promises of democracy. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now is the time. Tina, you find more ways to waste time. Now finish your chapter tonight and pass the test tomorrow, understand? I know I'll flunk it. Archer. Oh, hello, Amy. I just finished with Tina. Well, don't hurry, you all. I didn't mean to startle you. <laughs> you didn't really. I was just on my way out. Amy, your father runs a landscaping service, doesn't he? I've been having so much trouble with my gardener. Do you suppose you could have your father call me? Yes, ma'am, I will. I've got to get going. Bye. Bye, Amy. the algebra war is going. <laughs> I think our side is losing. Math isn't exactly your sister's favorite subject. It runs in a family. I know. You do okay. Yeah, I do okay. Hop in. I'll run you home. That's okay. The bus stop's not very far from here. And the bus service around here is only terrible. taken him says he's the best teacher in school. Yeah, but that film, it was so depressing. And what's it going to prove? All it does is stir up the past, all those old feelings. Those things happen, though. Maybe we should learn about them. Maybe. But showing blacks and whites beating up on each other? I mean, come on, what's Molnar trying to do? <laughs> Start a riot? It's right here on the corner. If I'd have known you'd live this close, I would have driven slower. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Any time. Well, I'll see you. Yeah, see you. Bye. 
Amy. Look, uh, I was wondering if you're not busy tomorrow night. I thought we could do something. I mean, I know it is kind of short notice and everything. It is very but... short notice. But I'm not doing anything. Great. See you tomorrow? How's that? Tight enough? I think my circulation's cut off. <laughs> Whoa. These come with training wheels. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Amy! Carol, Jesse, you know Adam. Hi. How are you doing? Why don't you join us? We're with Mike and Anita. She skates worse than you. <laughs> Impossible. Come on. Sure. <laughs> hey, when did you get here? Just now. Everyone's over here. Come on. Hey, man. I'm listening. <laughs> well, maybe when you're finished, you'll find some time for your old friends. Later, muchacho. So honorable of honorable, so me to sign to honor us at our little party. Can't we take you anywhere? It takes you a while, but you grow then. Yeah, like unwanted hair. <laughs> nice move, Thompson. Very stylish. But you're gonna have to work a little bit on your technical merit. Get out of my face. <laughs> I don't think he liked that. I don't think I care. Natural rhythm didn't help him. Skating's still a white man's sport. Papa, why are you still up? It's 1.30, Emiko. You're late. We went out for pizza after. You should have phoned. I thought you'd be in bed asleep. Come on. Nice boy would have more respect for a girl. Nice boy would have had you home on time. You're a Japanese boy, don't you? I, I mean a nice boy. Papa, if I had told Adam I had to be home early, he would have had me home early. Then a nice Japanese girl should have more respect for a hard-working father. Off to bed. Good night. Peter, just give me a minute to think about this. John, please. I need your support on this. All right, Peter. But I need your promise to keep me posted on everything that goes on. You got it. And you will not regret this. You always say that. We're going to call this experiment the color game. First, we have the blues, with all their pride, power, prestige, and wealth. Now, they like society just the way it is, and they want to keep it that way. Below them, we have the Greens. This is the middle class, the workaday average law-abiding citizens. And finally, we have the Oranges, or the Rangs. <laughs> this is the low class, or should I say the lower class in our society. So what do we have to do? For the next month, each one of you is going to be either a blue, a green, or an orange. I pick blue. 
You'll find me on my yacht. <laughs> we'll be there. You will be required to behave like a member of your social class, and you will be treated accordingly at all times. And what that means is, is that this game goes on 24 hours a day. I don't see how that can work, Mr. Molnar. Anytime we want, we could break the rules. Brian and Diane are members of my senior class, all of whom will be acting as our police force. We're going to call them G4s. So what? I mean, if I got caught, what's anybody going to do about it? Brian? Violators will be given demerits. Demerits mean fines and punishment. <laughs> now, on the positive side, if you work hard and you conform to the system, you might get to move up to a higher color class. Uh, that is, if you accept the challenge and you agree to take it seriously. <laughs> Congratulations, Amy. You're a blue. Now, armbands are to be worn at all times. Failure to do so will be penalized with demerit. <laughs> Buddy. Pick it up, Orange. Do you really have to go around bowing to people? That's what the man said. Believe me, it'll never work. It's just a class exercise. Go with it. Thompson's loving it. He drew blue. Now he's acting like a world-class idiot. Ranks. Hi. Hi, Amy. Oh, Miss Sumita. Are you slumming today? Remember, these tables are reserved for the lower classes. Cool it, Justin. Hey, touch him. <laughs> Remember, just a class exercise. Adam, good to see you. I'd like you to open my milk carton for me, if you don't mind. You see, there's just some things us blue folk don't like to do for ourselves. I'm through with my lunch, Orange. Would you remove my tray, please? Yes, mine too. Hey, Paul, take it easy, will you? You say something, Rodney? Adam, glad you could make it. You may leave now. I don't believe you, man. How long are you going to be Thompson's trash man, huh? It's a game. Everybody knows it. The novelty will soon wear off. They're eating this up. Strutting around, throwing their weight, giving you grief because you're white and they're so-called oppressed minorities. They're going to use this game to get back at us. I'm not very hungry, Justin. I'd like you to remove my tray. <laughs> hey, forget you. Game or no game, I am nobody's ghost. Is there a problem here, Amy? The screen here refuses to obey my orders. <sighs> and subordination. That's going to look real bad on tomorrow's report, Green. It's ten demerits. Hope, Green. What do you do when leaving the presence of the superior? Um, I think you'll learn that Associating with the lower classes is unwise. Now, tomorrow, I suggest you dine with other blues, OK? Maybe I'd better leave. Wouldn't want you to get in trouble on my account. The game goes on 24 hours a day. Anyone could see us. You know people getting extra merits for reporting violators? 
I mean, we could get in trouble. Are you serious? I just want to give the game a chance. I think it'll help me. I mean, if we play by the rules, Carol and I could get promoted to blue like you. It might even help our grade. Hi, Jesse, Carol. Amy, can I talk to you a minute? Sure. Amy, Adam's only an orange. <laughs> I can't believe you. See you later. Bye. Bye. This whole thing is so bizarre. Adam, I'm sorry about what happened today. Maybe I shouldn't have made Justin climb my tray. But he gets me so angry sometimes. He just gets me so mad. It's the game. I mean, sure, there's a lot of bigots. But I'm not that way. And you're not that way. Adam Tarcher, Orange. This Orange is accused of secretly initiating a meeting with the Blue. He and Amy Sumita were reported seen in his car yesterday parked on Birch Street. Fine is $10. But that's half my money. Oranges were only given $20. Breaking the law's expensive. I hope you learned your lesson. Amy Sumita? You're advised not to be susceptible to this kind of thing. Your fine has been suspended since this is only your first offense. It's not fair. The oranges don't have a chance. Why should I or any of the rest of us play this game as oranges just on the luck of the draw? But Adam, life is the luck of the draw. It's like a baby born in a ghetto. I mean, what choice does he have? But I'm not responsible for that. It's not my fault that anyone is born in a ghetto. And it's not my fault you drew an orange. OK, take out paper and pencil. We are going to have a little quiz. Oh, no. And for $25, you may be excused from the quiz and leave the room. Never mind that. Let's get this done. Hi. Hi. I think I'll finish this later. You think it's safe to talk here? Unless Tina's a G4. <sighs> so how are you? Oh, I had a great day. I lost my position on the team. Adam, why? Talk about being prejudiced. Coach has this idea that in sports, black is always better. So my soul brother Thompson got it. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Whites have always gotten ahead because of their color. And now, I'm getting a dose of the same medicine. I wasn't thinking that. Since when have whites had it in for everyone? Seems to me Orientals have always done okay. My father was a little boy when World War II started. A lot of people were scared to death that every Japanese living here was a spy or saboteur. The government hauled them all off to the desert and put them in camps. A hundred thousand Japanese Americans. Americans, Adam. My father grew up behind barbed wire just because he was Japanese. I'm sorry that happened. But that's history, Amy. When have you, 
you personally ever been made to suffer? In little ways, but all the time. Like with Justin. Sure, Amy smiles a lot. Amy's everybody's friend. But inside, I'm always on guard. I live behind a mask, Adam. Is it me you like, or is it my mask? All the little jokes, all the names. Sometimes, sometimes I feel so weird and so ugly. I never let anyone know what I'm really like. This is hard to admit, Adam. But sometimes I wish I were white. I'd never want that. Mrs. Tarcher called me today. She wants to hire me to do her gardening. Really, that's great. She said she asked you to have me call her. I'm sorry, Papa. I guess I forgot. In light of this individual's repeated disregard for authority, it is recommended that he be severely fined and be immediately demoted to orange status. You shall pay a fine of $50. I don't have $50. Then you may substitute one week of detention. Surrender your green band. <laughs> Guess I'd expect that from a rang. Jesse Vaccaro Green, please rise. You have been cited for exemplary behavior. It is hereby recommended that you be promoted to blue status and that you enjoy all ranks and privileges accorded that class. All blues in favor, please raise your hand. Congratulations, Mr. Vaccaro. Please move forward into the blues. Welcome to the country club, my man. Hey, you two, over here. Sorry, we're late, Coach. It won't happen again. Sorry's not good enough. What's the story? We're staying in detention for no reason. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, you poor misunderstood kids, you put on detention for nothing. Well, I don't tolerate mispractice for any reason. You're both suspended for one game. Give us a chance, will you? Well, I don't even want to see your faces till next Monday. Coach. Coach, you've got to listen. Talk to more. He'll tell you detention is all part of the screwy color games. Archer, I don't want to hear another word from you. It's not right, Coach. Molner's gone over the edge. And my friends are being kicked off the team. Get off my court. Look, they call us rings, right? So let's act the way they expect us to. What does that mean? It means let's do something. What do you have in mind, brother? I say Thompson's car could use a good five-minute paint job. Wait a minute. Why don't you just calm down? Why don't you take a walk? I said let's do it. You're crazy. No, I'm not crazy. I'm just good and mad. <laughs> Orange is beautiful, baby. Orange is beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect it to go this far, Peter. I've gotten complaints from parents, too. I expected complaints. Oh, and did you expect violence and vandalism? When you change people's value systems, John, things are bound to happen. Look, take a look. Two whites, a black, and an Hispanic. But they have one thing in common, John. Orange armbands. I'm sorry, Peter. I can't condone any more violence or damage to property. I want you to find out who did this. And I also want you or your class to raise enough money to repair the damages. And if there's one more incident, Peter, the game is over. I 
dropped Molnar's class today. Why? The game. It's messed up everything. My grades are suffering. I've been suspended from the team. You and me. All right. Quit. Just don't think that solves anything. Amy, I'm not trying to solve anything. I'm just trying to put my life back to where it was before the stupid game. What's it going to be like for everyone else? When the game's over, does everything go back to the way it was before? So maybe there won't be any more blues or greens or oranges. But there will always be blacks and whites and browns and yellows. And maybe, just maybe, you'll see how someone feels who isn't as lucky as you are. You know, I really don't care. You're blind. All right, then, I'm blind. But I won't take personal responsibility for all the injustice in the world, Amy. I never owned a slave. And I never called anyone a nigger, or a spick, or a chink. Did you pay Paul Thompson's car? No, I didn't. But you know who did, don't you? And you're going to protect him because you feel you have to. What you're doing, Adam, is the same thing kids do in the ghetto. What you feel, that's what they live with. Only they can't quit. They have to go through life bending their heads against people like you who won't open their eyes and see the other side. If I'm such a bigot, why did I ever go out with you? I don't know, Adam. I really don't know, and I don't know why I ever went out with you. What are you staring at? Is that what we're paying you for? Get back to work. Hey, I said get back to work and mind your own business. Amy! This is my business, son. Mr. Sumida. Emiko. Emiko, please, please get in. Tell your young man who I was. Were you ashamed that I'm working for Mrs. Tarcher? Papa, don't say that. How could I ever be ashamed of you? I'm not sure. Unless you're ashamed of being Japanese. Emiko. If you feel bad about who you are, prejudice that makes you feel that way. Says who? This is a peaceful demonstration, Paul. It's time this game ended. We're here to demand our rights. And what if we don't want the game to end? Then play it yourself. Oh. Whoa, way to go. Come on, let's get in there, man. It's not my fight anymore. <laughs>
I have seen the promised land, now is the time to make real the promise of democracy. Now is the time. Now is the time. 